example, or at least in this first one. Now, what I want you go, what I want to start off with, guys, is at least identifying like the relationship, okay? Because there's a couple different ways we could do this. But the first important thing, guys, if we want to solve for x, I just want you guys to understand, we have a 45 degree angle. We can write using our trigonometric functions. We see here, here's our, we have our hypotenuse, and then this is going to be our adjacent or our opposite? Opposite. opposite. So I can write a trigonometric equation, say, the sine of 45 degrees is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Wouldn't you guys agree? Mm -hmm. Okay. Huh? What's the sign of 45 degrees? No, you're Okay. Now, if I just wanted to solve for x, I would just multiply by 30 on both sides. And I'd say x equals 30 meters times the sine of 45 degrees. Now, we'd have to figure out, well, what is the sine of 45 degrees? Now, those two triangles I wrote down over here. Guys, remember, remember how the cosine of 30 degrees was the same? Didn't matter, right? Didn't matter what the side lengths were. It doesn't matter that this is 30 meters. It could be 15 meters. It could be 1. It doesn't matter. They're the same. So if I want to figure out what the sine of 45 degrees is, what's the sine? Uh, opposite over hypotenuse. So it's just what? What's the sine of 45 degrees? Opposite over hypotenuse, which is just square root of 2 over 2. So therefore, your final answer is 15 times the square root of 2 meters. Okay. Now, another way you guys could look at this, the same thing. Remember I talked about our relationships, guys. If this is x, this is x, that's x squared of 2. So if we have 30 meters and we want to go back, that means we just need to divide by the square root of 2. 30 divided by the square root of 2. Rationalize the denominator. You get 30 square root of 2 over 2, which equals 15 square root of 2. Same answer. Just two different ways of doing it. But 